Action Saturday, we've already sent one team home. George Mason dropped to Campbell in the previous match in the first game of the day. We'll see them tomorrow at noon. The winner of this game will see them tomorrow. Fastball work will work to both sides of the plate, but check out her off speed to keep these Charlotte hitters off. It's been solid throughout the season, has been able to get runners on the back. A lot of power behind that for Washington, but that's pulled in. It's the first big play of the inning. It's Krupit. It's that towards McLean for the out at first. Getting runners into scoring position, so they're right there. They just need a, someone to step rep for her staff. Popped another one, Mitchell, center field. And that will be the third out. Claudia Ware with two big time outs. Strikeouts to 20 walks, fastball to both sides of the plate, but her good stuff is her drop. A better day, I'm not sure. Tyra Parker, who has also this game, had triples on the day. And right away, Claudia Ware hits one up center for the single. And she finds the whole steal. Batting 339, two home runs. Gets the free pass, bases loaded for the Camels with zero outs. Madeline, Madeline. Pop up, right field, and that's actually gonna be brought in by Hoffler. Still a tag and a run that's put. Corners covered for the Camels. With Parker on third, and now McLean still second. And so Wynn was able to make the play at first. Carry things over. They scored three in the first versus George Mason. Free pass for Rodriguez. And Hanald had four in the first game of the year versus Charlotte. This has popped up, almost pulled in by Wynn, but couldn't make the play. Full size, 35 innings on the year, 21 strikeouts. It's going to work 63 to 66 miles per hour with a nice. But if I'm Campbell, anything low, I am taking, knowing that Alex Leap is not going to give. So not a good stone. One for four in this regional, and, and it's likely due to stone. Pop up to right field, that'll do it. As Wright is relieved that they can bring. Yeah. Ripped it, up center, finds a nice hole and is able to get the single. To get on the bag. Another one, creeps past third base. So McDilda couldn't get a hand on it. Now there's two on the bag for Charlotte. 194, she's in lineup for her defense, but she's been really good in this Durham region. They'll call that play. Everything resets as Wynn is back at the plate. Over or get them in. Swing and a miss, the first out. Adding 176. And that one hurts. Walking Winters there. She's batting once. Rather, for Savannah White, do you set up any differently? In the field. Right between the legs of Howold. And that will bring a runner in, the RBI single for Hoffler. Another one hits the chest of Ella Chancey. So gets this single there. Right, sends it, bunt. 
but is able to get her out at first for the first out of the inning. Almost brought in by Cassidy Krupit. Couldn't hang on to it. Another double. Had the sack fly, but you mentioned it. We saw the graphic at the top of the screen. Pops this one on. And second base will get that one. So Hoffler able to put away another one for the second out. Position for the Camels. This one is sent to Hoffler. And an easy out at first as they'll in that one for the Camels, leaving two on the bag. This one, the other side, left field. Does it have legs? It does! Hits the board! Could not in this moment. Hits a ball 260 out to left center field. Cassidy Krupit. Finds a hole up the middle and will get the single. Second time on the back, she was hit by pitch. This has legs as well. Left field, is it brought in? Indeed it is. Tyra Parker puts on the Jets and is able. Ella Chancy at the plate, had the single earlier. Swings to left field and that's out of here. Two run. Bring it on home, Chancy. It's a line drive in. Boop! Off the wall. Two run shot, Ella Chancy. Yeah, she's going to work mid 50s, 56 to 58 with her fastball of both sides. Swing and a miss. Out number two. And a strikeout at bat. As that's another strikeout for Hardy in the circle. Two strikeouts. Upper 60s with the fastball, a low ERA at 1.82, 211. Popped up right field, and that's going to be brought in by Vinoy. So that one scratched off before, but Chancey saying, I'll take. Especially with how hot this line lineup is, especially Alyssa Hinault. Finds the glove of Chancey once again. That'll be out number two. Fair ball. Aaliyah Sweeney able to get the single. Pop up. Chancy ends it. So Charlotte on fire at the it's happening. This one is sent to center field, but where? We'll bring that in for the first out. Sorry, which is exactly what Campbell needs if they're gonna make a comeback here. Only down. Just off the glove of Hanault for the base hit. Back at the top of the lineup with Ashley Washington. Three on the board early. Now behind one as this one is going to be a free pass for Washington. Two on the bag now for the Niners. One in scoring position in the third inning. That just opened the door for more. Baylor, 10 at South Carolina. Swing and a miss there as that's going to be the strikeout. So two down. Grounds it. Shortstop is able to make the play. Hanalt at third, and that'll end it for the inning. So we will head to the bottom. Lead off for the Camels. Hits it straight towards Win, and is able to get the single. Too much for Win. Chancey able to make the fielder's choice to second and will get the second out of the day. 
Parker's going to try for it and does get the second base steal. So now one in scoring position. for Fly ball center field. That's actually going to be brought in by Wynn. Pop up, right field. It's going to be able to drop. Gillespie held up at first, but gets the RBI. We're back at a tied ball game. Delaney McDowell at the plate, batting 312 on the year. Nice connection from McDilda for the single. Players on the move. And Gillespie's. Mariana Rodriguez. And Hoffler able to make the play for the third out at first base. So that Pop up brought in by McLean. Out number one for taking away the lead off Bisa. That's Chancy. Grounds that to third. And the second out. Off the pass from And this pitch is. So the. Swing and a miss, strikeout. That'll be the fourth one. The chop, Gress is able to catch that and send it to group it for out number one. The bottom of the fourth, UCLA. Tied up with Liberty. As there's a strikeout for the second. Finds a nice pocket in left field. And that's a base hit for Savannah White. Being shared today is this is a nice one led off by Claudia Ware, but that's the third out of the inning. It's not a good time for it. I mean, there's really never a good time for a free pass, but to lead off and it. Corey Hoffler waiting at the plate as Illa Smith. And that will be a free pass. Two on base for the Niners. Stellar in this regional. So Ashley Washington at the plate. Oh, for her. But down. And the sack. But Wilson brought up in the open as well. And you can tell. Pops it up over second base so McLean could get a glove up, but instead she's able to slide in. Safe to win. Hoffler is initially held up, but then she goes for home. The throw is perfect, but the tag is late. Corey Hoffler is safe. What a sequence. Connected, sent it to left field and Parker. It's a nice play in the out. Second out. That's a grounder to Gillespie and that'll be an easy out and tag at first. So that will bring everything to a close. So Parker, and the fly ball, that's an easy out. And the C-Press. That one's chopped to Hoffler, and is able to send it over to Krupit for another out. Gillespie, chopped it to Chansey. That's out number three. Chansey finds a sweet spot. Pop up on the right, Gillespie. 
and able to pull that one in. He's showing up for one another and really showing to the nation with the, for our opportunity. As this one is slapped down the line on the left side. Pops this one up, goes left field. Parker under it, catches it, and that'll do it. So last chance for the... Right between the legs of Gress. Scooped up in a nice play at first. Sends it center, can't quite get to it. Wagner tried to reach, but it will find a spot on the ground. And the single RBI in the first. Sends this to left field, out number two, as Mitchell is able to bring that one in. Swings it straight to the glove of Grass, and that'll do it! The Niners will see Duke in the regional final tomorrow. A battle here tonight, but the story was the Charlotte 49ers and their offense making their first split that continue in this tournament. And now we are locked.